It's Hey Collider crew, love the show and have been watching every day for the past year. I was looking up information about the upcoming Steve Jobs movie when I noticed it currently has a 6.5 IMDb rating. When I looked further, I found that most of the ratings are either a 10 or a 1. My question is, why are these people going and rating this movie a 1? I can only assume they haven't even seen the movie because from everything I have heard so far, it is a great movie. Thanks and keep up the awesome work. Well, we talked about uh, Rotten Tomatoes a lot uh, this weekend on Mailbag. Uh, IMDb, I have to say, never, ever pay attention to IMDb ratings. They're terrible because it's it's always a lot of just fanboys going to something they either love or something they hate. And it's all tens and ones. We know most movies, actually like 95% of movies out there are not tens or ones. They're always somewhere in between. So anytime people are doing that. Uh, also, yeah, no one's seen this. Or hardly anyone's seen this movie. This is mostly people writing in stuff like, you know, either they they hate Steve Jobs or they hate whatever the portrayal of Steve Jobs. Or I, I, I read someone wrote in, oh, uh, well, another Steve Jobs movie? One, you know, that type of thing. Um, I saw this happen with Selma as well. They're like, oh, another movie about you know, blah, blah, blah. And then they, they, they gave, before it even came out, like three or four months before it came out, it was like the rating was similar to this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, yeah, it's like, is IMDb any more or less official than Wikipedia? No. I mean, it's basically, it's uh, it's fan grown and fan, uh, that's how the how it's written. It's like people chime in and write their reviews and then that is, a, is an accredited thing while it's like Rotten Tomatoes is actually, a, a, you know, film reviewers and critics accredited. So that's where those tomato readings come from. And that's why that you've seen that boom of importance of a wild, to, a wild, you know, wild tomato, a rotten tomato. <laughs> ha ha, I said it wrong. Um, you've seen that difference where people are like actually looking at the tomato reading and you're like, why does that matter? Well, because it's like, actually, it's like you got a college credit going on there. You know what I mean? It's actually, you can apply those, the, the meter reading to real critics and what they really think. And then they also have an audience rating right next to it. So it, it kind of really gives you a better score or reading off of a film than anything IMDb or Wikipedia or any of these other kind of web generated, mm -hmm. user generated things are gonna you know have. It's shocking to me. What do you think if there was one movie on earth that could be like the the number 10 on the internet, it would be a Steve Jobs movie? It's like you're only on the internet because of helping that dude what he did in the first <laughs> place. So have some respect for Steve Jobs and click 10 or click one. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have seen the movie to vote on it. Like Rotten Tomatoes, you have to have seen the movie to give your opinion on it. IMDb, it's just, it's, I love the website. It's great. Just not for ratings. Yeah, I don't judge it. And, and even with Wikipedia, it is user generated, but at least there's a community there that kind of tries to patrol it. And right. obviously some certain things get through that aren't factual, right. but, but with IMDb, you just like, Zero, one, ten, it, anyone. As long as you have an account and an email address, you can just mm -hmm. sign, you know, because that, that's why you see certain movies on IMDb rated super, super high or much higher than you think or low, super low compared to what you think it is.